Morning everybody. I'm in the back of a tuk-tuk in Colombo with my uh, father. And uh, today we are going to Gaul. We're gonna catch the train down. We haven't got tickets. We're gonna rock up to the train station, get some tickets. I actually caught this train in 2019 on uh, the second day that I ever traveled uh, solo. Sri Lanka was the first destination. I did this train ride. This is actually the train tracks right here. It goes all along the coast. So it's a super beautiful uh, ride. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get tickets on the way when we arrive to the train station and then we'll uh, see what happens next. We haven't got uh, too much planned and we didn't really know how to book them in advance either. So it's kind of just uh, go with the flow kind of morning and we'll bring you all along for the journey. Up yamo. Alright, so there's the train station everybody. We're just gonna get uh, a U-turn done and then we'll be on that side of the road. VIP service. You're right. You might as well go to the platform. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think he is. I think he's uh, <laughs> trying to get the meter to work for him <laughs> as much hey, as possible. 500, exactly. Machan. Machan. Do you have change? Passport. <laughs> Good yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, no, you don't need a passport or anything. Stuti Machan. Thank you. Alright. Man. I reckon ticket office right here. This brings back memories guys. I remember 2019. I was crossing, uh, there's like a sky bridge there. And it was my first day in Colombo. I crossed here. Uh, came in and got tickets. I can't actually remember the layout of this place though. All re oh second class. So, the goal 240 on second class. So this first class, which generally gets booked out pretty early, second class, which we're at now, and then third class. I don't know, hopefully they have tickets. There are 240 each. So, watch on. Subo Desana, can I have two tickets to Gaul, please? Four tickets to Gaul? Yes, please. 280. Four tickets to Gaul? Yeah, two, yeah. Two to Gaul. Oh, I have like the old stamping press machine. Oh, really? Yeah. You have 480. Okay. Thank you. And what platform is it on? Number five. Number five. Stuti Machan, thank you. You got, all right, I got one ticket, you got one I ticket. How do we get out of here? We're in a maze. Metan in the light, can I? Take a natural tool for Thank you. Number five. And what time will it depart? Time? Watch your time? 8 30. Okay, we're trying to do Number five is over there, so uh, I guess we go up and around. You don't go across the track. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got the normal way. Oh, here's those uh, snacks that you were speaking of yesterday. Remember those? Oh, the like, tapi Yeah, the cogs, cogs, the tapioca stuff. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we can... Uh... Well, they also have like nuts and stuff. Ooh, these look delicious. Oh, they look good. My chance, super desana. Um, can I please have 100 grams of these? This is what I have for breakfast. This, this is what I have for breakfast. Really? Okay. <laughs> it looks good. It's kind of crispy. It reminds me, I had these uh, chips in what? Egypt when I was having my koshery. They're like fried bread things. They're kind of like little versions of, uh, of that. They look good. Yeah. And also, uh, Tapioca, 100. It's breakfast, eh? <laughs> yeah. He's really getting it 100% perfect. Oh. oh, 105. Gotta take one out. <laughs> Machan. 
Stuti very much. Thank you. All right, we got our chips, guys. We're gonna make our way to the platform. Yep. And then we'll eat them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, down we go to platform number five, everybody. It's only like eight o'clock right now. And apparently it's 8.30 that it departs, but everyone's standing for some reason. So I'm a little bit worried in the fact that it might come early, but not depart until 8.30. Anyways, we'll see. Chan, Subodesana, Komoda. You have like egg roti? Yeah. Yeah, you want an egg roti? Ah, yeah, you'll have yeah. egg roti. Two yeah. egg rotis, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, vegetarian roti. Yes. Okay, we try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the train to uh, Gaul. Yeah, it is. Is this the train to Gaul? No, no, no. No, no. Things got noisy and intense quickly though. So, this is not the train to Gaul. <laughs> I just realized we also have to figure out what uh, seating second class is. <laughs> There's different carriages and everything. Oh! Because <laughs> this one actually looks uh, pretty nice in there. Looks nice. Thank you. I am at the train station, about to board a train to, uh, to Goal. I'm currently in Colombo, but I got these uh, snacks that I see all around Sri Lanka. There's these little chip things. These are actually uh, tapioca. I've had the french fry version, but not the kind of the chip, chip version. So I've already tried these uh, a couple days ago when I was last in Colombo, but these look absolutely delicious. So. We're gonna give it a taste test. Hopefully our train doesn't come or you won't be seeing this review. Yeah, I'll be jumping on the train, but yeah. Whatever these are called, they blue. Machan, so what is the name? What is this? Chips. And they're Sri Lankan? Sri Lanka? Okay. Stuti Machan. They're known as chips. Pagoda, Pagoda. 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 Okay. Very good. Let's give them a taste test. Roddy, how's that? You cannot forget the veg roddy. It is a bit hot, 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 but a bit I don't mind a bit of spice. Especially <laughs> in the morning, I'm not too sure. <coughs> now these. Give me the water. Yeah, I can hear your coffee. <laughs> yeah. These are good. These, as I was saying when I actually ordered these, these remind me so much mm. of the chips that I had uh, in uh, in Egypt, in Cairo, where I had the koshiri. They're a little like more flavoursome. These are a bit spicy. Whereas the other ones were kind of uh, more salty, more sort of salty flavor. These have a hint of masala, a bit of spices and a bit of tang to it. So that's nice. On to the next one. They're kind of like just um, like Smith chips kind Smith of. Smith chips, but they're um, like yeah. hand cooked or something. Yeah, like they're thin. They're, they're corn crisps. Corn crisps. Yeah, they taste corny. Like, that. like we have them in Australia, like do we? Like Dorito. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are nice though. These are very like fried and I, deep I like, fried. I like how they're they're not greasy. Like, yeah, you know, they're fried, but they're not greasy. Yeah. So, um, out of uh, out of yeah. the two, I think they're probably my favorite. I like the saltiness. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm never a lover of um, corn chips. Yeah, but these are a good a good mix. 
Very good. They didn't break up. Really easily, those uh, potato ones. You got a really yeah, good yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're kind of like um, Thick and deep fried, really crispy, really chewy. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good snack before we board the, board the train. I will say, it is a pretty, uh, a pretty cool train station. Kind of like all these kind of, uh, I don't really know like what the word is, but kind of like retro steel beams, the, uh, the like staircases and the arches look very like aesthetic and it's all like painted in this kind of metallic silver, all the roof and sort of every, every part of it. So it's very uh, visually appealing. But I think maybe in a couple of minutes, maybe in five to 10 minutes, train should come from that way. We'll jump on. Oh, oh, literally that could, there is a train coming from that way. It could be it, maybe. No, it's not. It's going to the uh, other platforms, but it'll um, it'll come and we'll go out that way. I'm trying to get on, so the train will come this way. I'm trying to get on the far side, just because if we get on the far side, then we'll be able to see the ocean view and we'll be sitting like on the window seat of the ocean. But I don't know if I'm being ambitious in thinking that we're gonna get a seat. I don't know how uh, busy this train gets. All right, everybody, a train is coming. I hope it's the one that we need. Maybe I'll ask my Machan. Thank you. Oh yeah, <laughs> Stuti Machan. Okay, thank you, bro. All right. Oh, it's, it's damn dark. Oh, it's coming Yeah. Oh, it's really dark. Chuck the bags up there. I can barely see you on the camera. <laughs> Let me stick my head out so you guys can. Oh, I shouldn't stick my head out because there's a train coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next time I. Thank God I looked. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Alright. Anyways, we've made it, hopefully. And I think we got a good seat here. If I've done my calculations correctly. We're going that way. We'll loop around to the coast and then we'll be heading down south on the right side, looking over to the ocean, looking over the good views that we'll have maybe in like 20 minutes time, I think. It'll be pretty good, so. Up yamo, let's do it. The lights are on and the fans are on as well. That is good signs ahead. Let's just uh, check if there's any trains before I stick my head out. Um, but yeah, we were sat here for like 10 minutes or so just chilling in the darkness, but I think uh, now they've sort of switched the uh, the locomotive or the engine at the front. And now the lights and fans are on. So a little bit more airflow now. We got our Machan. Yes. Machan that we met. What's your name? My name is Hera. Hera. Yeah. And he's, uh, you're from Gaul. Or yes. you're going to Gaul. Yes. We're going to the same place. Yes. So uh, it's always good chatting to the locals and everything. He was the one that uh, turned the fan on. You know where all the switches are. You're an ex you're an ex expert. Hey, Gordy. <laughs> Very good. Anyways, 
I think shortly we will uh, be departing that way. Up Yamu. Let's do it. Machan, Subaresana. I didn't see you guys. We are on the way, on the move. We're going through the, the flora or the fauna. I think it's called fauna. Or is that animals? I think flora maybe. Flora. Flora is the one. Going through the flora, the jungle. And then soon we'll make our way to the coast and then over on that way. We'll just be uh, we'll just be looking at ocean the whole time. It's honestly an amazing, amazing ride. You know, Sri Lanka has some of the most scenic train rides in the world. Obviously, we have the Ellis Candy one that we'll be doing shortly. But this one, I remember doing it back in 2019. It was so amazing. I really, I really enjoyed it. So, I actually filmed that video. I'm pretty sure that was maybe my third video I ever uploaded on YouTube. And uh, man, it's cringy. Look, I've actually looked back now that I'm back in Sri Lanka at a few of those old videos. Man, little 18 year old Luke traveling around. It was uh, funny times. But I don't know, I'll go through that video now and see if there's any worthy parts. And I'll play the clips, uh, clips now. I don't even think I'm at the right platform, to be honest. So I'm gonna have to go ask someone later on. I had to go ask for help, figure out where the platform was. And I was on the wrong platform, thankfully. They told me the correct one to go to. I am beyond confused. It's been like 30 minutes. Don't understand how the other train went past. Got to make the most of the situation. Enjoy it. My negativity won't do anything. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully there's some good parts that you guys just saw. But we're making our way through the city, through Colombo, and we'll get to goal in uh, around about two and a half hours, I believe. Up beyond. Calculations were correct and we've ended up on the right side. So that's good. We're gonna have this amazing view all the way down. We've got people working on the tracks. We've got the amazing ocean. And we've got our Machan! Machan! Oh man, this is gonna be a beautiful ride down. Even got some fishermen. Oh he caught a fish. Oh, a little, a little baby one. Hell yeah! Maybe it's best. Watch on, two by us and off. Whoa, you gotta be careful. Look at this. You can see the road and everything. Super desk and watch on. Come on, Monday. Oh man, this is the best part. Oh, that's my dad. This is the best part about being in this part of the world, you know. You get to experience things that you don't get to experience elsewhere. You know, this is just freedom. Pure, pure bliss. Absolutely amazing. Got a little beach up ahead, but you gotta make sure you're holding on at all times because these railway tracks, they throw you around a little bit. So you gotta be careful. And I have a tendency to always get myself into uh, accidents that involve uh, not good outcomes, but we're gonna enjoy the ride down south and uh, we'll bring you all along the way. Alright. Yeah. Uh, huh? Place here to stay. Oh, we were gonna stay here. Yeah. What is it called? Mount Lavinia. Anyways. Oh no! <laughs> to say my dad was shocked was an understatement. He was shocked. I reckon even like if it was going like double the speed, I could still jump on, jump through, like a James Bond movie, make it last minute. It would have been an issue though if we made it after the platform. <laughs> then, uh, then I wouldn't be getting on, or at least not on this carriage. But, oh, that, that's a sick place, look, Karma. It's kind of, looks like a bit of a Tulum vibe. You know that big, oh, there's a traffic oh, light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost got clocked by that. Dude, that was close, man. That was really close. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Getting some 
speed now. <laughs> We're going fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, probably like an hour into the journey. And um, yeah, it's fun. It's wobbly, it's fast, it's bouncy. We had to see all the villages and then sometimes it opens up to the ocean with some beautiful views but it's such a unique train ride, you know. All kinds of different things going on. You can never get bored on it. There's always something to look out and uh, watch or, you know, puppies running around, hotels being built. Getting flung around everywhere. It's all, uh, <laughs> it's all good fun. Guys, we got the VIP seat. You know, it's on these trains, it's hard to uh, find a door that you uh, you can take control of and enjoy the view. But luckily, the Machan that uh, I had on video before when I was hanging out the window, he, he hopped off, and I was like, "Quick, up Yamu, got to get there." So we're gonna chill here for the next bit, have the breeze in our face, have the uh, have the wind going by, and enjoying the view. It'll be nice. We just gotta be careful though, because who knows. Uh, <laughs> what objects will be coming our way. We might be doing a bit of this, a bit of dodging, you know? Nonetheless, it'll be a good ride. Subo Desana Machan! Oh, look at this guy, he's hanging out. That's how the tourists die. They hang out, just like us. It is fun though, nonetheless. What an experience, guys. Hanging out of the train. Seeing the locals will pick it up this big Machan! <laughs> People are friendly out here. Machan! Oh man. I do a lot of dumb stuff in these videos, but please don't ever replicate this stuff. I don't have uh, any value for my life. So hold on at all times. I'll just ideally sit in a normal seat and don't do this. But if you do want to do it, it's worth it because you get these views of the south coast of Sri Lanka. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. When, when the ocean comes. I got my dad taking photos of me hanging out the side of the train. Woo! This is fun, everybody. Hang on, mate. I'm hanging on. <laughs> It is getting pretty fast though. It is getting pretty fast. Yeah, honestly, you really do have to have like solid footing. You have to be holding on at all times because there's some really big jolts that fling you from side to side. If you're not holding on well, you're going off. So we got these views here. Look how beautiful this is. The Sri Lanka beaches, everybody. An absolute magical place, seriously. Going through all the jungles, all the rainforests, all the trees, the coconut trees. And then you mix that with some ocean. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. It is fun, honestly. And I'm still like young, 21. Brain still hasn't fully developed, so my stupidity levels are at an all time high. <laughs> Yeah. The worst thing is, I just hope my dad d never has to witness my uh, my death or injuries. I don't care if like stuff happens to me, but I'd hate for uh, him to witness me fall off a train at 50 miles an hour and get blended by another train. Now this is cool. On the train, but we got the highway right here, we got buses. So what is it, chance? Or maybe it's Super Sunday of up now. Look at all that diesel. <laughs> Look, they're having a conversation. Watch on! Oh man. What? They're going to gold. Ah. You you are. Oh yeah, Marco or Colombo. You are going to gold? Gold? Very good. Everybody's going to gold today. Such a nice view though, guys. Honestly. Look at that. Wow. Alright. Let's 
uh, let's give this toilet a go. Let's see what this toilet's like. For some reason, let me just uh, ensure, there we are, we're locked. Now we're locked. I'm always fascinated by toilets in the trains. <laughs> Uh, boy, oh boy, I'm glad I don't actually have to go at number two here because look at this everybody. The toilet seat's broken. The, the top bit of the toilet seat's broken. The actual toilet seat's snapped off. I'm definitely going to need to wash my hands after this. Uh, but yeah, at least when you're sitting down, you've got a nice view out. It's, it's a shame that it's not on the other side, otherwise you'd be having a good view of the ocean. This is on the, uh, the, the city side. but. Yeah, you're kind of just like pooping or peeing down into uh, the midst of <laughs> Sri Lanka. I mean, there's no, there's no drains or anything, it's just literally going straight down. Let's see if the, uh, the tap works. Oh, the water actually works. But you know what? I don't think there's a bum gun, unless that's the bum gun here. How do you turn this thing on? Is there a bum gun? Oh my god. Jeez, so what do you do? The bomb gun's not working clearly. There's obviously no toilet paper. What are you meant to do after you, you do a number two? Jeez. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we'll hang out the window again and uh, see what we come across. Honestly, you could chuck me in this train for 48 hours and I'll never get sick of hanging out the side of it, enjoying the views enjoying the nature, it's so green everywhere and when it's not green it's either golden from the sand or blue from the water. You can see the glimpse of the water over there but we're really hitting like the south coast now. We're uh, shortly uh, approaching goal, we're about maybe one hour away but uh, yeah it's just getting even more gorgeous. We're really hitting the south beaches and uh, it's amazing. These train journeys always just bring back such good memories. Obviously this one specifically when I was here in Sri Lanka last time, but I remember traveling down uh, South India, like through Kerala, or even like through Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, and these are the trains that we used to catch. And uh, Sri Lanka has a very similar climate to South India. It's super green, it's very tropical, lots of beaches and everything. So it reminds me so much of those times back in like 2019 that was, when I was traveling, I was, um, 19 years old at that time. I was traveling with a buddy, with a buddy called Chris that I met in Delhi, an Irish guy. If you've seen like the early, early videos, you'll know who I'm talking about. We still are in contact. Um, but it's just reminiscent of all those good times of catching the trains, the horns, the rickety noises, and then the train platforms just like this one. It's so much fun. All right, everybody. There we are. Goal. We have arrived. And a uh, pretty fun train ride, honestly. You can't not like a train ride here in Sri Lanka. It's so beautiful, so much fun, and uh, very affordable. Literally just like just over one uh, US dollar, maybe a dollar twenty. To, uh, where's my dad gone? I've lost my dad. There he is. <laughs> just over a dollar twenty or something uh, to get down here. So we're going to be enjoying Goal for the next couple of days. So we're going to finish up the video here. As always, thanks so much for watching. Ooh, chase your dreams. Up here? I think, I think it's this though. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.